Hey guys, by the end of this video, we will have covered Windows 10 2004 privacy settings. What we're going to discuss first though, we're going to review the privacy settings, my current recommendation, we're going to take a deeper dive into camera, microphone, notifications, background settings, but we will not be covering privacy apps such as Osu, Win 10 Privacy, and Blackbird. My name is Dave, and you're watching The Dave Stuff. If you haven't done so already, click on the start menu, go to the settings or the gear icon symbol, and then go to privacy. As soon as you get into privacy, you'll be taken to the Windows Permissions General section. By default, all four options are turned on. However, in my case, in my preference, I have the first, second, and fourth option turned off. The third option is on for my convenience to help me find my apps and documents more conveniently. However, making changes here to any of the settings is totally up to you. Under speech, I don't use Microsoft Cortana and I'm a little bit concerned about the privacy so I turn this off. Inking and typing personalization. Microsoft is collecting data on you. You don't need it on. Turn it off. In the diagnostics and feedback section, specifically diagnosis data or diagnostic data, set it to basic. Improve inking and typing. It should already be disabled from the last section. Tailored experiences is your preference, but I have it off. Diagnostic data, I have it off. And click on delete diagnostic data, so the delete section. Just make sure your data gets deleted from a privacy perspective. Activity history. These two settings essentially collect data on your history usage. So if you're interested on how things are going on your system, you can leave these options checked. But note, Microsoft does collect this information on you, and if you honestly don't use these, turn them off. In the app permissions location, allow access to location on this device. I have it on for my preference, but you can change it and turn it off. Allow apps to access your location. My preference is off. If you turn it on, the next section will allow you to change each app by one by one. As you scroll down, you'll find a section that states allow desktop apps to access your location. Because I have the app allow apps to access your location off, this section for me is off. Okay, this is one of the most important sections. Camera. Allow apps to, your, to access your camera. This should be on. Why? If you use uh, Skype or any sort of app that uses your camera, you want it on. This is especially true for anyone who streams or video conferences. Also, as you scroll down, make sure allow desktop apps to access your camera is on. You'll run into issues if this is off. Your voice activation, I don't use voice-based apps like Narrator or Cortana, so I have it off. If you use it, leave it on. Notifications, allow apps to access your notifications. I have it set to off for my own preferences. I don't want to be disruptive. Account info, I have the app set to off. Contacts, allow apps to access your contacts. I have this setting set to off. If you use Outlook or a calendar-based app, you may want it on. For phone calls, I have apps off, but if you use a voice over IP app like Skype, you may want this on. In Calendar, if you don't use Outlook or Office and or any of those sort of apps, you can turn this off. Otherwise, if you use those apps, turn it on. All history goes hand in hand with phone calls. If you have phone calls on, leave it on. If you don't, leave it off. Emails. This should be on if you use Outlook or any of those types of apps. If not, you can turn the apps off. Tasks. I have app access off. Messaging. I have app access off. You may want this on if you're using something like Facebook Messenger or WhatsApp. Radios. If you use a Bluetooth device like a headset, you may want this on. Otherwise, turn it off. Other devices. If you communicate with an Xbox One or TV or projector or something like that, maybe even your PC or tablet, you may want this on. Otherwise, you can turn it off. Background apps. If it's left on, it can have a minor to a major impact on your system performance. If performance is important to you, turn it off. App diagnostics. I have the app section set to off. Automatic file downloads is specifically for OneDrive. If you use OneDrive, you can turn it on. For me, it's grayed out because I don't use OneDrive. Documents, pictures, and videos are specifically for the Microsoft Store. So if you use the Microsoft Store for your apps, you can leave it enabled. 
Otherwise, you can go through each section and turn them off. The file system is specific to OneDrive, so if you don't use OneDrive, you can turn this section off. As I totally forgot about the microphone section, ensure allow apps to access your microphone is on. This is very important if you stream, if you use a webcam, if you conference, video conference, ensure it is on. Also, if you scroll down towards the allow desktop apps to access your microphone, ensure that it is on, otherwise you will encounter problems with your apps. Does this make sense, guys? Let me know in the comments if you have any additional privacy tips or suggestions for future videos, as well as what privacy settings are you guys using? Let me know in the comments. With that, guys, if you like this video, give me a like. If you want to see more videos like this, hit the subscribe button. I greatly appreciate it. And until next time, be well and take care.